Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory, glory. Father, we bless you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. All the glory must be to the Lord. For he, yes, he is worthy to be praised. There is no man, there is no man on her that should give glory to himself. For the glory must be to the Lord. All the glory, all glory must be to the Lord. All the glory for He, yes, He is worthy, worthy of a praise. For oh, there is no man, no, no, no man, no man on earth should give glory to himself but the glory must be to the lord all glory must be to the lord for he yes he is worthy of a praise as no man no man on earth should give glory to himself, but the glory must be to the Lord. As no man, as no man on earth should give glory to himself, but the glory must be to the Lord. All the glory, all glory must be to the Lord. Yes, all the glory for He is worthy, is worthy of our praise. Yes, no man, no man on earth should give glory to, should give glory to Himself. But the glory must be to the Lord. All the glory, all the glory, glory must be to the Lord. Give him praise, give him glory, for he, yes, he is worthy of a praise. As no man, no man on earth, should take all the glory to himself, but the glory must be to the Lord. All the glory, all the glory must be to the Lord. Hallelujah. For he is what he is, what he of a praise. There's no man. No man on earth should give glory to himself, but the glory must be to the Lord. Yeah, there is no man, and there is no man that should bring the glory to himself, but the glory, but the glory, but the glory, but the glory. All the glory must be, yes, the glory must be to the Lord. Welcome, everybody. Come on out, everybody. Welcome to Winning Ward and Prayer Hour. Welcome to Winning Ward and Prayer Hour. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Winning Ward and Prayer Hour. I need you to invite your friends. I need you to share your timeline. Winning Ward and Prayer Hour. Hallelujah, we give God a praise and glory. We give God all the glory and praise. Hallelujah, he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of our God. Blessed be our God forever. He's worthy to be praised. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Everybody, come on now. Come on now. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. All the glory. All the honor. All the glory must be to the Lord. For no man, no man on earth should take the glory to himself. But the glory, but the glory, yes, the glory must be to the Lord. Yes, all the glory, all the glory, all the glory belong to the Lord. Give him praise, give him glory. Give him praise, give him glory. He alone deserves all the glory. He alone deserves all the honor. Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. I am in your safety, Lord. Thank you, Father. For in your safety, nothing can harm me. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you the praise. You are worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Time for winning word and prayer hour. Winning word and prayer hour. We come to celebrate the Lord and thank him today. A winning word and prayer hour. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome, everybody. I need you to invite your friends. I invite you to invite your friends in the name of the Lord. Let's come on to the hour of prayer, a time of fellowship in the word of God, a winning word of God. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you praise and honor. You alone deserve the honor and the praise. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Give him glory. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for you are good and there is none like you thank you for your mercy and your forever thank you for your goodness thank you for your love i give you praise jesus thank you mighty god thank you lord of lord thank him thank him thank him this hour thank him and this hour we get in the word of god we get in the hour of prayer the winning word and i bring good news for you today i prophesy the blessings of god over your life and your family and your situation in the name of jesus hallelujah Give him praise, give him glory. Give him praise, give him glory. All the praise, all the glory, all the honor be unto God. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for bringing me up to this winning world and prayer hour. Give him thanks, give him glory. Say, Lord, I celebrate you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you thanks. I give you all the glory. I give you all the praise. I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in my life, and I return all the glory and the praise to you, Lord. All the glory and the praise to you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Halle, hallelujah. Glory, 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 Lord. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Come on, give him thanks and give him glory. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thine a glory. Yeah. Revive us again. Revive us, O Lord. Revive a church, Lord. Revive, 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 and revive. Hallelujah. Thine a glory. Thine a glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Singing hallelujah, thine a glory. Revive us, O oh Lord. Revive us again, revive us again. For thine a glory, thine a praise, thine a honor. Revive, 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 revive. We come for revival, Lord. We come for revival, Lord. Hallelujah. Thine a glory, thine a glory. Hallelujah, amen. Come and give him thanks, Father. We give you glory and praise. Hallelujah. You are it. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for you are good and there is none like you. Thank you for your mercies and there is forever. Thank him, Lord. Thank him, Lord. Say, Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we come to give you all the glory. We take our opening Psalms from the book of Psalm 75. Psalm 75, and we kick off from Psalm 75. Welcome, everybody. Psalm 75, we're getting in Psalm 75 right now. Psalm 75, as we open the winning word and prayer hour. Hallelujah. It's that we give thanks to you, O oh Lord. We give thanks for your name. We give thanks, O oh Lord, for your wonder of work. Declare that your name is near. The name of the Lord is always near. The name of the Lord is always there, a present help in a time of trouble. Welcome, everybody. Yes, welcome, welcome, Deborah Mueller. Welcome, woman of God. God, we give you the glory and praise. Welcome. I need you to share on your timeline and share in your groups at this time. We get in the world with Psalm 75, a opening thanks, a opening prayer, a opening doxology. Let's give him all the glory. He's worthy of our praise. He's worthy. Let's give him all the glory and all the praise. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless you, Lord. We give you all the glory, Lord. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Lord of Lord. He said, we give thanks to you, O Lord. We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks for your wondrous works. Declare your name is near. He said, when I choose the proper time, I will judge uprightly the heart and all the inhabitants that dissolve. I set up his pillar family. He said, I said to the boastful, do not deal boastfully. And to the wicked, do not lift up the horn. Do not lift up your horn on high. Do not speak with a stiff neck. For exhortation comes neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He puts down one and exalts another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is fully mixed, and a posit has surely drank sharp all the wicked of the heart. Drain and drink down. But I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked I will also cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. The horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Father, we thank you because you're going to cut off every negative thing from the life of your people. You're going to cut off every pain. You're going to cut off every shame. You're going to heal every sickness and heal every disease. And you, O oh Lord, are going to cut off everything that brings stagnation and bring shame and bring pain in the life of the people he said i will cut it off i will cut it off i will cut it off because god is the judge and let's give him thanks because he's going to walk it out for you i decree and declare that god is going to walk it out for you no matter the circumstance no matter the situation no matter the problem god is able to walk it out for you in the name of jesus christ i need you to decree and declare lord Thank you because you're going to walk it out for me. Thank you because I know when no man got my back, you are always there for me. You are always there to lift me. You are always there to help me. You are always there to encourage me. You are always there to make a way for me where there seems to be no way. You are the way maker and I come to thank you, Lord. I come to bless you, Lord. I come to give you the glory and praise and honor. I come to celebrate you for I know that you, O oh God, are worthy and you are great and there is none like you. He said, give thanks to you, O oh God. We give thanks to you. Give him thanks. Give him glory. Give him all adoration for in the proper time and I want you to know that your proper time is that your time of blessing is now your time of lifting is now your time for the expiration of your problem is now it's your time of lifting it's your time of joy it's your time of increase your time of moving forward and every shame and every pain the time of expiration is now in the name of Jesus Christ it's your time of elevation your time of new opportunities your time of new open doors in the name of Jesus Christ father we give you glory we give you praise you are worthy we bless you Lord and he said I will say to the boastful it doesn't matter who has been boasting it doesn't matter what they said contrary it doesn't matter what they did to you every boastful 
God is going to take care of them in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, exhortation come from the Lord. Elevation come from the Lord. Promotion come from the Lord. Promotion doesn't come from people. Promotion doesn't come from nobody. Promotion comes only from God. Promotion comes only from the Lord. Help comes only from the Lord. Elevation comes only from God. Exhortation comes neither from the east, nor from the west, not from the south, but from God, God Almighty. Give him thanks and give him glory. Say, Lord, my exhortation come from you. My elevation come from you. And I come to thank you because I recognize that my help is in no man. My help is in you, oh God. My help is in nobody. My help is in you, oh God. And when I got you, I know you're going to send the right help to me. You're going to send the right people to me. You're going to send just somebody that will help me in the name of Jesus Christ. And declare and decree that God will cut down the horns of the wicked in the name of Jesus. God will vindicate you. God will arise and fight your battles for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you thanks. We give you glory. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. And let all the waste places become like an hidden and all the desert like a garden of the Lord, according to Isaiah 51 verse 3. All the Eden places, all the waste places, all the desert places. No more hardship, no more desert experience in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we decree and declare a restoration of fresh garden like the garden of Eden, he says. Uh, in Isaiah 51 and verse 3. We decree that the Lord will flourish your path. The Lord will give you a total turnaround in the name of Jesus Christ. The healing you believe in God for receive in the name of Jesus Christ the breakthrough you believe in God for receive in the name of Jesus the financial provision that you believe in for we agree we declare we receive in the name of Jesus Christ for God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above anything that we can have God is a faithful God our God never fails and he can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can have in the name of Jesus Christ put not your hope in man put not your trust in people for people will let you down people will fail at the very time you need them most but God never fails God never fails God never fails what he says he will do is more than able to do and he is the Lord God Almighty he is the one that gives exhortation he is the one that brings elevation where is receive exhortation we receive elevation in this season in the name of jesus christ but there is a cup in the hand of god the cup of the lord he said he anointed me my cup runs over my cup runs over in this season we decree and declare a season of overflow a season of running over in the name of jesus christ that the blessings of god I will restore you to the original purpose of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. And the wealth transfer and the goodness of God and the hope and the, and the right connection that God is going to make a way in the name of Jesus. Where there seems to be no way. Where you have been rejected, you receive a celebration in the name of Jesus Christ. Where they've turned your request down, go back and God is going to favor you this time. They will come even looking for you in the name of Jesus Christ for God is able he is able to do all things he is able to do exceedingly abundantly and we give him the glory we give him the praise we honor you Lord you are worthy and we declare forever because your decree are forever because your word never fail that the word that I send it shall not return unto me void because it shall fulfill that which I have sent it to accomplish 
that is the word of God. He said that the rain cometh from heaven and he returned not thither, but he watered the heart that he might give food to the eater and give seed to the sower that the rain and the showers of blessing will give food to the heater and give bread to the heater and give seed to the sower in the name of Jesus Christ. We receive the showers of blessing. We receive the showers of blessing in this season in the name of Jesus Christ. And all the hands of the wicked shall be cut off in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the Lord will exalt your heart, that the Lord will lift you higher in the name of Jesus Christ. No more retrogression, no more backwardness, no more stagnation for you in the name of Jesus Christ. This is a season of celebration. This is a season of elevation. This is a season of moving forward. This is a season of great blessings and prosperity and progression in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord, I thank you, for you are more than able. You are more than able. The Bible says he's going to crown the year with goodness. It's going to drop fatness on your path. I decree and declare the blessings that you've been waiting on God for, the blessing, overflowing blessing, much more beyond whatever you have had from the beginning of this year. As you give him thanks for keeping you even up till now, the windows of heaven will open and divine showers of blessings are coming your way in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare no more hardship, no more suffering no more lack no more struggle but the showers of blessing the showers of blessing the showers of blessing will be released upon you and your household and your children and your children children in the name of Jesus Christ this is a season of prosperity it's a season of increase it's a season of a Experiencing the new dimension of the blessings of God. Healings in the name of Jesus. Prosperity in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare peace that goes beyond all understanding. The peace that only God can give. The peace that only God can give. The world cannot give no peace. Nobody can give you hand and peace and satisfaction. It's only found in the Lord Jesus. It's only found in the name of Jesus. And God is going to give you that peace and prosperity, that wealth and health in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you thanks. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. Give him thanks and glory. Hallelujah. Give him thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you are saved. Because you are a child of God, you are not to suffer the suffering and the pain of those who do not know him, but that he's going to transfer the wealth of the wicked to you in the name of Jesus and give you blessings blessings even in the unexpected and uncommon places in the name of Jesus and any power that wants you to keep on struggling we counsel them in the name of Jesus Christ every power that wants you to keep on in affliction long time affliction long time trouble we terminate it in the name of Jesus Christ and we decree that it's a season of exhortation it's a season of elevation it's a season of promotion. The promotion that comes only from God. The favor that comes only from God. In the name of Jesus Christ. And every stronghold walking against your advancement. Uh, we crush them in the name of Jesus. We crush the stronghold in the name of Jesus. No more barriers on your way. No more barriers to your breakthrough. Every burden. Every kind of barriers. Standing in between you, every wall, standing between you and your next level, and your blessings, and your breakthrough, and your success. We cancel them in the name of Jesus Christ. And by the power of God, you will arise in the name of Jesus and walk into your breakthrough. You will arise in the name of Jesus and begin to experience uh, a new dimension of blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, that everything you have lost before, he said, I will restore unto you all the 
the years that the canker worm and the locust and the palmer worm had eaten up. He said, I will restore to you. And I decree and declare that no matter what it is you have lost and given hope up on, I decree and declare that God is able to bring it back to you in greater dimension, in higher dimension. The Bible says in Job, Job chapter 42, that God restored double to everything that he has ever lost. And he got double. And he was the latter hand of Job was greater than the beginning. I decree and declare because you are joined to the living, because you are alive and you are breathing, and you, no matter the situation and circumstance, God is able to restore exhortation, elevation, promotion, increase, health, and wealth, and blessings unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Never give up hope on God. Never stop serving him. Never stop believing. Never stop giving him praise. Never stop worshiping him. Never stop your commitment. Never quit the ministry. Never quit the assignment that he has committed into your hand. Keep doing what he has said, what he has committed, what he has told you to do. Keep faithful in your stewardship and God is going to come up for you in the name of Jesus Christ. God is going to come in and make you smile and turn around every obstacle, every barrier, every entrance to your breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. No more limitation, no more barriers holding you bound in the name of Jesus. No more struggle in the name of Jesus. I need you to begin to decree and declare that Lord, you are my hiding place. You are my Father. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my Deliverer make a way for me because you had a way maker where there seems to be no way and that situation that has been bothering you that situation that made people to even mock you that situation that made people to give up and and try to avoid you that situation i want you to know that is not impossible before god luke chapter 1 and verse 37 he said for with god nothing shall be impossible with god nothing shall be impossible he is the creator he is the maker of heaven and heart and there is no impossibility with him he said father that no matter what it is that it might be impossible with man it is at the realm of man that there is limitation. It is at the realm of men, at the natural realm, that there is a limitation and impossibility. But in the realm of God, for with God there shall be nothing, absolutely nothing, that is going to be impossible. For with God all things are possible. With God everything is possible. It doesn't matter what it is that they said. It doesn't matter what it is that they closed. God is able to turn it around in your favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Give him praise and celebrate him. Say, Lord, you are my strength. You are my strength. Strength like no harder. Reaches to me. Reach out to me, Lord, by your strength, O oh God. Reach out to me now by your strength, my Father. I need your strength to make it through. I am tired. I am weary. But I need your strength, O oh God. For when you get the strength of the Lord, you can travel your journey with His. When you get the strength of the Lord, you can press on in your journey. And God going to bless you and help you further. In the name of Jesus Christ. Decree and declare, Lord, help me. Lord, help me and hold me. Uphold me. Help me where I'm weak. Help me where I'm failing. Help me where I'm falling. And I need your strength. He said, they that wait upon the Lord, Isaiah 40, verse 31, they shall renew their strength. Lord, I come to the hour of renewing my strength. When we come to the throne of grace, we receive help from God and God put his angels
angels on assignment for us uh, and they begin to make a way for us they begin to fight our battle the bible says jesus what at gets the man on the mount of uh, uh, gets the man it's a place of pressing a place of pressing that's what gets the man mean in that garden of gets the man he was there and he was crying he said lord you know this cup is too heavy it's too but i know this is the purpose you sent me but i wish lord that you can move it on and god said no you got to do this but i'm gonna send the angels and the angels came and strengthened him at every now and then in our journey we need the strength of the supernatural we need the strength of from our father we need the strength from god we need the strength to press through you need the strength to move on and i decree and declare how this year is going towards an end and winding down that the lord going to empower you and strengthen you for the next level strengthen you even for the next journey of 2018 you shall excel you will be uplifted no more pain no more strength struggle and there will be testimony for you in the name of jesus christ your glory your star your destiny will begin to manifest in the name of jesus christ everything that has been stagnant for you everything that has not been walking hitherto i decree and declare by the mercies of god by the hand of god this is the power of god reaching out to you helping you breathing life in every dry place Places, bringing health in every healing places in every weak places in the name of jesus christ you will move from strength to strength you will move from glory to glory you will move from faith to faith you will move from victory to victory no more shame no more pain no more lack in the name of jesus but at the help of god is coming your way every dead bone every dry bone ezekiel chapter 37 the son of man you got to prophesy you got to pronounce a blessing there is power in your mouth when you decree the word of god when you pronounce the word of god every dry bones uh, begin to come together every dry bones uh, begin to make uh, way from the hip to the joint and all the all the bones begin to locate themselves uh, there is power in your mouth begin to speak a blessing over you begin to declare uh, a blessing over you for what you speak you're gonna receive as you declare you're gonna receive it in the name of Jesus and the Bible says Ezekiel in chapter 37 began to prophesy and he began to call forth all the bones and they were gathered together and the bone flesh came upon them step by step precept upon precept in the name of Jesus Christ and the word of God declared that son of man was told to prophesy and bring forth and command the wind and the wind came and god said everything has been dead i'm gonna bring them together and they will become like a great mighty hammy a great mighty hammy in the name of jesus christ had decree and declare where you've been weaker where you've been in the valley the valley of dry bone it was in ezekiel chapter 37 but god turned around the situation and all the dead dry bones became a mighty hammy a mighty hammy don't just give up hope on god yet don't give up your faith now you cannot stop now you have come a long way and there is still more for you to go ahead you cannot quit in the middle of your journey you got the crown waiting on you you got the crown waiting on you you got the reward waiting on you and you will reach your place of fulfillment you will reach your place of exhortation. You will reach your place of elevation. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what it is. That is your distraction. That is kind of trying to burden you down and trying to make you not to to press on the journey i declare and decree unto you look up unto god for your redemption is near look up unto the father that is where your help comes from he said i will lift up my eyes up unto the hills put your eyes up unto the lord quit looking at the people quit looking at the storm quit looking at the situation but 
fix your eyes upon the Lord. Uh, put your eyes upon him. Uh, and as you look up unto him, uh, he alone will make a way for you. As you look up unto him, your helps come from the Lord. Uh, he is the maker of heaven and heart. He says, vain is the help of man. Men are going to make promises, but they will fail. Men are going to tell you they're going to do something, and when they turn, they turn their back, they turn their back on you, and turn their word down, and they cannot fulfill what they say. But God is not a man that he should lie. When God make a promise, he brings his promise to pass. When God said he's going to lift you up, he's going to lift you up. When God said he's going to bless you and going to make a way for you and showers of blessings and breakthroughs coming your way, hold on to the promise of God. The promises of God never fail. Hold on to the word of God. The word of God never fail. In the name of Jesus Christ begin to decree begin to declare that lord i thank you because i am moving forward in my season of lifting i am moving forward in my season of elevation in the name of jesus christ and i will not die in the strange land i will not die in the situation of hardship and valley i will not die unfulfilled declare declare decree pronounce your healing that this sickness will not kill me i am well i will be well i am healed in the name of jesus christ jehovah rapha is going to touch me he's going to lift me up in the name of jesus christ decree and declare there will be a testimony after this trial there will be a testimony after this this test there will be a testimony in i will triumph in the name of jesus christ uh, decree your blessings pronounce them begin to call them forth in the name of jesus christ bible says in the book of job job chapter 40 and verse 9 job chapter 40 and verse 9 he said no one has an arm like you O lord you are full of power and might god is full of power and might in the name of Jesus, in the same book of Job, chapter 10, verse 9, he said, he do mighty things, he do great miracles. That is what God can do. He can do what no man can do. He can change the heart of kings and people in your favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, where men have said there is all that they can do, God is going to make a way. The limitation of man is the exaltation of God. The limitation of man is the promotion from God. The limitation of man is where God begins and set up his own, where man are tried and done everything that they can do that is when god stepped in and god stepped in when he steps into a situation when he speaks for you there is going to be a miracle in the name of jesus christ when god set into your situation there is going to be a healing there is going to be a change in the name of jesus christ father we give you praise and glory we bless you lord you are the shield you are the exceeding great reward of your people in the name of Jesus Christ, decree and declare according to Psalm 3, I will not be afraid of 10,000 that have set themselves against me because you are a shield for me. It doesn't matter if there are 10,000. It doesn't matter how many they are. Romans chapter 8 verse that they said, if God be for us, if God be for you, it doesn't matter who is against you. God is going to make a way for you and fight your battles for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Give him praise, give him glory in the name of Jesus and every dry bones of your destiny that are coming alive in the name of Jesus Christ. He said in that Psalm 75 where we read, he said, I will cut off the horns of the wicked. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus and pronounce and prophesy that the wickedness of the wicked will expire this time in the name of Jesus. Expire by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord will change that situation. Change and bring a turn around in the name of Jesus Christ. Celebrate him and give him thanks and Lord we thank you. We bless you, Lord. We honor you, Lord, because you are faithful to your word. He is faithful. 
And I need you to believe God and decree and declare even for your children and children's children right now that the blessings of God, the hand of God will be upon them as they grow, as they celebrate their birthday, that the blessings of God will be increased over them in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, and they will grow in wisdom, grow in stature, grow in the favor of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for Bryson today that the Lord give him wisdom and spirit of excellence in the name of Jesus Christ and many more years in the name of Jesus Lord. Father we thank you give him praise and glory that the stars will not be hindered by the enemy but they will manifest and be keys of excellence outstanding in the gland in the name of Jesus. Father we give you all the praise we give you all the glory. You are worthy and you alone can do what no man can do. You alone can do a change of situation, a change of story in the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare and prophesy and decree that you are becoming untouchable by the enemy in the name of Jesus. For he said, touch not my prophet and do my servant no harm, my anointed. Touch them not, do them no harm in the name of Jesus Christ. Any evil hand that want to touch your children and children, children, we decree they be withered in in the name of Jesus Christ. And we announce to the enemy that you and your household is covered by the blood of Jesus and an untouchable, untouchable in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the blessings of God locate you. Let the favor of God locate you. Let the mercies of God locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we just thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord, for our breakthrough is not negotiable. You will not be negotiating with your enemy, but that you will triumph in breakthrough over them. You will break down the network of your enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. And you will press into your breakthroughs in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. And we decree that the power of God that promoted Joseph, the power of God that changed the story of Joseph in 24 hours. He was in the prison and the Lord overnight changed the story and put him in the palace. The same God that visited Joseph, the same God that remembered Joseph, the same God at the appointed time is lifting you out of that prison, lifting you out of that hardship, lifting you out of that depth, in the name of Jesus Christ, move to your palace, move to your next level, move to your increase, move to your promised land, move to your promotion and elevation and exhortation, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise, O oh God, for men shall begin to help you without knowing you. And the Lord will draw out the sword of his fire and fight for you in every situation, everywhere. They call your name negatively, backbiting and back backstabbing, that the sword of fire of God will crush them in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone speaking negative and promoting evil against you, that the fire of God will go forth into action and consume the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare that the sword of God, he said it will cut off the horns of the wicked, but the horns of the righteous shall be elected in the name of Jesus. And every backstabbing, every gossip, anyone painting you bad and speaking evil and negative things and saying evil concerning you, we decree and declare that the sword of fire, the sword of the Lord, uh, we can cut them shut in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, every rope tying you down to one pot, we cut them in the sword of fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, no more discouragement for you no more shame for you, no more pain for you, in the name of Jesus, it's a time of blessings, it's a time of increase, receive a open door in the name of Jesus Christ, and every insult and injury, receive a healing touch of God today, in the name of Jesus, every long awaited situation, 
long awaited circumstances that have been holding you bound, we decree and declare in this season that God is going to make a way for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now let's go into the book of Mark. Mark Gospel. Welcome, everybody. I need you to invite friends at this time. I need you to share and share on your timeline and share in your groups in the name of jesus we're going in the word of god and we're going to prayer continuously right now in the name of jesus our text is in mark gospel chapter 5 mark gospel chapter 5 from verse 21 to 43 is a long 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 reading but i'm not gonna you know take time to, we're just gonna pray along as we go in the scripture and the same story in a synoptic gospel is recorded according to matthew chapter 9 from verse 20 down also to 22 thereabout and also in Luke Gospel chapter 8 from verse 43 to verse 48. But I like to go with Mark Gospel because there are some things that Luke and Matthew did not mention that we all find in the account of Mark Gospel chapter 5. Mark Gospel chapter 5. It's a story of the woman that we all know. She had no name, but she was called the woman with the issue of blood. The woman with the bleeding issue of blood. Hemorrhage is the medical condition that it was called. And I want you to know that everybody, whether you're a woman, you're a man, in so many situations, in so many cases, there are issues. The issue may not be the issue of blood. It might be a financial issue. It might be a marital issue. It might be an issue with the, 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 the kids and your grandkids. It might be issues, one issue or the other. It might not be the issue of blood. But no matter the issue, we come today to issue a decree against the issue that the decree of the word of God is the one that will make a solution and make a miracle and deliver you and give you breakthrough and healing that you so desire in the name of Jesus Christ. There is no issue that Jesus cannot handle. There is no issue that God cannot fix. There is no issue, no matter how messed up, no matter how. No matter, it might be a drug issue. It might be somebody in drug. It might be somebody in addiction to some kind of drugs or whatever the addiction might be. There is power in the name of Jesus, there is power in the touch of Jesus that no matter the issue, there is no disappointment in God. If you step up by faith, you're going to receive your miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I'm going to start from verse 21 of the book of Mark, chapter 5, verse 21. It said, Now Jesus had crossed over by the boats to the other side a great multitude gathered to him and he was by the sea and behold one of the rulers of the synagogue came Jairus by name and when he saw him he fell at his feet and begged him earnestly saying my little daughter lies at the point of death come and lay your hands on her and she might be healed and she will leave so jesus went with him and a great multitude followed him and thronged him hallelujah the multitude followed him and they thronged him hallelujah bible says in the book of Acts, chapter 10 and verse 38 our god anointed jesus christ of nazareth with the holy spirit and with power and he goes about everywhere with the compassion and the anointing and the power of the holy spirit and he was healing them that were oppressed and casting out devils and giving fight to the blind and the cripple walk and the lame and all the blind could see and he said that by the anointing he raised the dead lazarus to life and the daughter of Jairus here. We do not know the name of the daughter, but we know she was 12 years old. 12 years old in the custom and the tradition 
by the time the kids get to 12 years old of puberty in Jewish tradition, it's called the Bar Mitzvah. The Bar Mitzvah, that is when they do a ceremony and they make the, the little girl or the little boy becomes a man. That's a transition from childhood to adulthood, to young adulthood. And this little girl was being attacked. That was a little girl who has not seen a dream come true. That was a little girl who has not lived a life to the full. She was just 12 years old. We do not know the situation of the name of the sickness or whatever was the, the problem. But he said, my little daughter lies at the point of death. Maybe the father Jairus had taken her to all the best specialists and they've given up hope and said, well, there is nothing we can do. She's just going to die. When you receive a bad reporter and he's at the point of death and he's at the point of eviction and he's at the point of a cost case and he's at the point of, that, of addiction, he's at the point of a problem, and there is always when you get to that point that you cannot ha get help from no man anymore. In that point is the turning point where you turn unto the Lord. But when you turn unto the Lord, God is going to answer. And when you come to that that turning point don't look up onto men anymore the Bible said the father Jairus was a religious man Jesus Christ was already from gathering if you read from the beginning where he casted out the demons from the man who had legions of demons now I don't care what kind of doctrine or what kind of church you attend but I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost and power I believe in speaking in tongues of heaven I believe in the angels of God walking with us I believe the power of the Holy Spirit, I believe in God that He still moves in power. There ain't no point from demon possessed come in the church and shoot people. There is no point where the devils begin to go in a mall and public place and shoot people. You need the Holy Ghost to instruct you. You need the Holy Ghost to power. You need the anointing of God to stop the devil in his track before he ever even attack in the name of Jesus Christ. You need to cross over from religion to a relationship of power with the Holy Spirit. You need to cross over to the place where the Bible says the man of gathering was living in the tombs and all the legions were, were, were pressing him down. And when he saw Jesus, he said, have you come? Have you come to destroy us before our time? You got to, he said, in the name of Jesus and the great commission you said you will receive power and they shall speak in tongues mark chapter 16 from verse 14 16 17 he said and go ye into the gospel the world and preach the gospel it is the gospel of power it is the good news of deliverance to the captive the good news to set the captive free and that gathering man was set free and jesus told him to go and start preaching from his household and all the region of gathering and he brought the good news there is no devil that can stop the good news there is no devil that can hinder the anointed child of god there is no devil that can stop you from moving forward but when the power of God comes upon you when the anointing of God is upon you you shall cast out devils the devil shall flee from you they will not be able to harm you they will not be able to hurt you or your children and your household because you are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ you need to be on fire from God you need to be on fire for God you need to have a passion an empowerment of the Holy Spirit. And that's why I said in the book of Acts chapter 1, he said, tarry in Jerusalem. Don't just go about preaching religion. He said, until you be endued with power, until you receive power, the gospel is with power. Paul said in Corinthians, he said, I do not come to you with a, a, a motivational talk. I didn't come to you with an enticing word of man, but I come to declare the word of God and with power. He said, the kingdom of God is not in eating and drinking but in the demonstration of power and joy in the Holy Ghost. When a pastor put a gun on himself and shot himself, what kind of gospel were you preaching? There is no devil 
that can make you kill yourself. You ain't going to put a gun on yourself and you're a preacher and get to heaven. That is suicide. You're killing yourself. That is murder. And that's a sin. But you should have enough power of God and subject to the anointing of God and the help of the Holy Spirit that he will help you no matter the issue, no matter the circumstance. There is a solution. There is a turning point. There is a way out. But the power in the Holy Ghost. It doesn't matter whether you pray for the sick and you you are afraid whether they're going to recover or not. You are not the healer. Your work is to obey and lay hands. He said, those who believe, they shall lay hands upon them. And they shall speak in tongues. And they shall pray for the sick. And the sick shall recover. Your work is to do the praying. Your duty is to lay hands. Your work is to be faithful in the preaching of the gospel. And let God fulfill his path. Let God move in his power of the Holy Ghost. Keep praying for that sick man. Keep praying for that sick girl. Keep praying for that deliverance. And God is the one in his own way, in his own time, in his own power that he's going to deliver. You are not the deliverer. You are a messenger. I am a servant, the messenger, bringing the word. And when you come to that point that you realize that you are only supposed to bring the message of God with power and allow the Holy Spirit to flow through you. Allow the Holy Spirit to move through you and make a way in the life of the people in the name of Jesus Christ. We got to wake up church and be a praying church, a believer praying, connected with the power of the Holy Ghost. He said, tarry ye in Jerusalem until you receive power from an eye. When you receive power from an eye, he said, you will now be my witnesses. If you don't tarry, if you don't receive the power, you cannot be an efficient and effective witnesses. You will be preaching and witnessing of religion. But the people are tired of religion. The people are tired of lack of miracles and move of God. The people need to see the move of the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit, the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has not ceased, speaking in tongues has not ceased, miracles have not ceased, and God is not dead. What he did in the scripture is doing today, and he will do some more. He said, I will pour out my spirit, and he has poured out his spirit, and he didn't gather it back. We need need more of God in this hand time. With the more the devil, with the more of the people turning and doing all sorts of crazy things, we need the power of God to prove to our world that God is not dead and God is alive and well and the power of God is alive and well and what God can do or what he has done, he can do again. you got to Stand upon the word. You got to stand and be connected to a refreshing fire of the refiner's fire of the power of the Holy Spirit of God in the name of Jesus Christ. And stand your ground and say, devil, back off in the name of Jesus. No demon is permitted in my territory. I cast every power and I plead the power and the line, the bloodline of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen and amen. The Bible says the man was a ruler in synagogue. And he had understanding enough that the religion could not help him. But he knew where to go. He knew that coming to Jesus was going to make a way. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 14. He said Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. He is the one that healed in the New Testament. He is the one that healed in all the gospel and he gave them power. He's given us power to do the same. We need to step forward. We need to step out in the name of Jesus. And Jairus now called said, I've done everything I know to do, but now I need you to come help me. Now, I need to talk a little about Jairus and the centurion. The centurion was a soldier, and the Bible said he loved the people. The Bible said he loved the people. They called him. They said he built even a temple for us, the centurion. The centurion story was there, and the Bible says he was the one that he, that he was the servant. The people testified and said he was the servant to be helped. And 
the centurion didn't hack for Jesus to come to his house. He was a man of faith. And he said, speak the word. Speak the word. And the word I believe because I am also a man under authority. We need to be under authority of the power of the Holy Ghost. Not under the religion. Not under just motivational speaking. We need the power and the demonstration of bona fide miracles of deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. And the centurion said, if you speak the word, I know that my servant will be well. I know that there is power in your word. And there is no distance in the realm of the spirit. And as you begin to decree the word of God, stand in the word of God. His word, he said in Psalms, he sent forth his word, and his word went forth and healed them. His word will always bring healing. His word will always bring deliverance. His word will always set the captive free. He said the grass wither, and the, the, the flower goes withering. He said, but the word of the Lord abide forever. The word of the Lord abide forever. You need to come to that point where you believe God, that his word abide forever, that he is going to do what he says that he will do that he is the faithful God and there is no problem that he cannot solve and there is no situation that he cannot heal and as you stand on this word he will make a way where they say that there is no way in the name of Jesus Christ and the centurion the Bible said Jesus testified of him and said I have never seen a faith as great as this in all of Israel and the servant received his healing right there and at the same hour they came from the house the whole servant brother testimony and said do not bother the master because your servant is hot and well now because jesus spoke the word there is power in the word of god keep speaking the word of god man of god speak Speak in the word of God, woman of God. Keep speaking the word of God, child of God. Keep declaring the word of God. Never let the devil shut your mouth, Harper. Keep declaring the word of God. Keep pronouncing the blessing and the promises that God has for you and your household. Keep praying and praying and decreeing and declare all the blessings that God has promised you. Until you see it come to pass, when it comes to pass, you don't shut up. You keep talking about it you keep declaring it and god's gonna make it happen for you in the name of jesus christ in the spirit of excellence is the spirit of the anointing of the word of god in the name of jesus christ matthew chapter 8 from verse 5 to 13 the faith of the centurion is the heart of a true father we need fathers in the faith we need fathers who got a true heart like Jairus. fathers who got the true heart fathers who are going to be able to connect their families and connect the, the household to the Lord Jesus Christ and submit. That is the heart of a true father in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says in verse 25, as they were going, there was another woman. This is a miracle on the way. Wherever Jesus stepped in, miracles happened. Wherever Jesus is, there are wonders. Wherever Jesus is, there are signs and wonders following. Wherever Jesus comes in a situation, there is a great answer to your miracle. There is a great answer to you coming in your prayer. Don't ever stop. Don't ever stop calling him. Don't ever stop praying. Don't ever stop believing God in the name of Jesus. A certain woman, we don't know her name also, but she had had a flow of blood for 12 years. It don't matter what your name is. It don't matter what the condition is. It don't matter what the issue is. No matter the whatever flowing that, that, that should not be, what is that malfunction, the dysfunction, whatever it is, could be mental, could be social, could be physical, should be financial, it could be. She suffered all this problem. Bible says for 12 years, uh, she never, she was went everywhere, she spent everything she had to all the physicians, and they couldn't help her, and she grew worse and never got better. She lost everything. It don't matter what is growing worse in your life and you spend everything. I bring the good news to let you know that Jesus is the great physician. He's the one that can do it. All those physicians and specialists, they need help themselves. They take medicine themselves. They know they are limited. But there is a great physician. He is the healer. There is no trouble that he cannot, he cannot solve. Bible says that he was the great 
physician and he was a great psychiatrist that's what he did even in the deliverance of the Gradarian man and here as the great gynecologist is going to reach out to that woman and power flow out of him now the woman said to herself I have done everything I spent all that I had and nobody helped me now you got you don't have to waste your resources on people you don't have to waste your resources on other sources turn to the main source turn to God first and foremost and let him fix it turn to God and he's going to help you turn to God and he's the healer turn to God and he's the deliverer turn to God and he's the way maker turn to God he's the miracle walker in the name of Jesus Christ and the, she, said, she said to herself uh, when she heard about Jesus uh, you've been hearing about Jesus but you got to do something about it you've been hearing so much sermon you've been preaching so much sermon you've been hearing so much testimony it's time for you to take a step of faith and you got to do something about it. Romans chapter 10 and verse 17. It says, faith comes by hearing. She heard about Jesus. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And how do you activate your faith? The word of God that you hear, the word of God must now get in you and you must be able to speak the word and you must be able to decree the word and you must be able to declare the word and you must pronounce the word. It is voice activated. When you begin to speak the the word you're speaking it half loud in the atmosphere and decree a blessing over every report of the doctor over every bills over every situation you speak the word as you speak the word the word has the power to set in the supernatural and change things and God set into the situation for you in the name of Jesus Christ she said to herself when she hear it it doesn't matter the doctor's report. It doesn't matter what they said. Don't keep standing on the promise of God. Keep declaring that I am healed by the word of God. It's already done. He already paid the price and I'll be made whole. And I am healed. I am healed. Believe the report of the great physician, not the doctor's report. Believe that God is your healer. Decree every day as you begin to speak it, as you begin to declare it, as you begin to pronounce your blessing, then you will see God move on your behalf. You will see the angels of God begin to set things in motion for you. You will see strength begin to come upon you. But you got to speak it. You got to declare it. But that is how faith goes into operation. That is how faith goes into activation. That is how faith goes into manifestation that is how your miracle is going to come forth you don't speak negative even though you find the situation negative you speak positive you speak the word of god you speak the promise of god you declare what the word of god said the bible says she said in her heart she already predetermined and as soon as she said that i believe that god already granted her that miracle and she just need to take the step of faith and go see jesus and then she had to press through <laughs> she had to press through press through all the crowd Bible said the multitude were strong in him there are multitude in churches there are multitude across all the world in churches and religion they're trying to strong unto God but no one is tapping something it's not about the multitude stronging unto God it's about activating your faith it's about putting your faith into action. It's about pressing in with your faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Matthew 11, 12. It's a wrap from the days of the John the Baptist. He said the kingdom of God suffered violent. The kingdom of God suffered violent. And it takes the violent that takes it by force. The kingdom of God suffered violent. Matthew 11 and verse 12. Matthew 11 and verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now. The kingdom of heaven suffered violent. And the violent take it by force. That is you got to press into it. You got to press into it. Luke chapter 16 and verse 16. Thank you. The law and the prophet were unto John. Since that time, the kingdom of God is preached, and every man pressed into it. You got to press into it by faith. The woman with the issue of blood, the woman here pressed into it. She pressed in through the crowd. All the crowd were thronging, but they were not getting anything from me. And uh, uh, he said, Who touched me? 
And the disciples said, well, you're talking about who touched you. Everybody's touching you. But he said, no, there is power gone out of me. There is dynamite. There is virtue. There is the healing power. There is a deliverance power. Does everybody in church are tapping into the power of God? You need to believe God for his healing power and his healing touch and tap into it and tap into it. And Paul said in the Philippians 3 and verse 14, I press towards the mark of the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Press towards the healing. Press towards the marker. Don't give up. God will do what he can. He can do everything. God is speaking, but are you listening? God can deliver, but are you tapping into it? You got to tap into it by faith. You got to press into it. And as you press into it, you don't have to listen to those gossip. You don't have to listen to those backbiting and those distraction and those mormon and all those murmurings and those uh, the, all, all the, the 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 backbiting and backstabbing you. You connect yourself with faith in the word. He said in Hebrews chapter four and verse two. He said, "For unto us the same gospel was preached." And it did not profit them. It did not bless them because it did not mix up with faith in them that hear it. You got to let the word of God mix up with faith in you. You got to say, Lord, help me to activate my faith and decree and declare. Keep picking it. Keep declaring it. Keep prophesying. Keep pronouncing in the name of Jesus Christ. And you will receive your portion. You will receive your deliverance. You will receive a healing. You will receive a breakthrough. Coming at that turning point, there is a point where you need God to turn things around to you. You've got to put a hand to chasing after people. you got to put a hand to looking onto people. But turn on to God and he's going to bring a great deliverance unto you in the name of Jesus. It takes faith to walk with God. Hebrews chapter 11. He said, now faith is the substance of things that we hope for, the evidence of things that we cannot see. It is by heat that the held us obtain a good report. And through faith, we understand that the world were formed. And by the word of God, so that the things which are seen and not the things that are made, the things things would you appear. The things that are seen are temporal, but the things that are not seen, the things that are not seen in the supernatural, they are eternal. Don't look at the things that you see in the physical. Begin to speak about the things that God has shown you in the supernatural and begin to declare, begin to decree, begin to call it to be and stagger not in the name of Jesus. He said, by faith, Abel, offer the more excellent sacrifice and he was better than Cain and by faith all the men of faith he mentioned in Hebrews chapter 11 began to do great things then he came to verse 6 and said without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and is a reward of them that diligently diligently seek him you got to seek God diligently you got to press through the crowd you got to diligent in searching God if the distraction of the crowd can stop you then you are not hungry for God enough if the gossip can stop you you are not hungry for God enough if the, the crowd can hinder you then you are not hungry for a miracle enough you got to let your faith roar within you yes the woman could not I've just walked in, but she believed God that if I can but just touch the hem of his garment, I don't need him to lay hands on you. I don't need him to lay hands on my, on my situation. I just need to touch him to reach out to him. So many people keep chasing people and men of God to prophesy and to, to lay hands on them. No, 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 no. You got to touch God by yourself. You got to connect to God by yourself. Enough of people thronging, you need to press by faith in the name of Jesus Christ and she touched him and when she touched him she was afraid because she knew now faith and fear do not operate in the same realm you cannot be fearful and be afraid at the same time I believe she was afraid because she got healed after 12 years she saw the miracle she was marveled and she stepped forward and Jesus declared that your faith has made you whole Jesus put a blessing on it Jesus sealed the miracle we gotta come to that point uh, with our faith uh, that when God touches you 
you don't have to be afraid of losing it. You got to thank God for it. You got to walk in your victory. You got to walk in your healing. You got to walk in your deliverance. You got to declare it. And don't you back up. Don't you be afraid of no devil. Don't you be afraid of anyone that comes against you because you are a child of God with the fire of God and they might come against you in one place but they shall be scattered. It's that when the enemy shall come like a flood that the spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against them. That is what God can do. And anyone, he said, that bless you, I'm a bless them. He blessed Abraham and made a covenant with him and said, anyone that cursed you, I will curse them. So it doesn't matter when what they say or who they are. What matters is you stay connected with God. You stay connected with the power of God. You stay connected with anointing of the power of the Holy Spirit of God. Keep speaking the word. Keep declaring the word and you will be blessed and you will see the move of the power of God. You will see the move of the anointing of God. He said, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Be healed of your affliction. Be healed of your affliction in the name of Jesus Christ. God can heal any affliction, but you got to have faith in him. It is so sad in the same meeting, in the same place where people are being healed. Some other people go back home on the same wheelchair that they came. Some other people go back with the same affliction. Does that mean there is no power of God? There is a power of God, but you need faith in God. You need to believe God. Because some people are saying in their heart, if I get healed, I'm going to lose my check. I'm going to lose my disability. I'm going to go. Once you entertain the fear, once you, you, then you don't want it long enough. But you've got to believe God for healing and deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, while he was here speaking, some other rulers came from the synagogues and they said, your daughter is dead. That was Jairus, the one that came to invite him to start with with a miracle. And said the daughter was dead. And why trouble the master any further? Now, this, he walked the other way around. Even when there is death, there is no trouble that God cannot fix. And as soon as Jesus had the word that was spoken, he said to the ruler of the synagogue, Do not be afraid, only believe. Do not be afraid, only believe. The year is going to an end. There's almost everything going all around in this world and everything going crazy. Do not be afraid, only believe. Do not be afraid, only believe. It doesn't matter what they say. Do not be afraid, only believe. What matters is what God say. What matters is standing on his promise. What matters is believing him. That there is power in the Lord. There is power in the word. There is power in the blood. And as you decree and declare the word, do not be afraid. Say fear is not of God. Fear is that we have not been given the spirit of fear, but of a sound mind, of a sound mind, of a sound mind and the power in the Holy Ghost of love. Don't you hate nobody. Don't you hate even your haters. Stand in the world, decree the world, and curse God to walk in your victory in the name of Jesus. And he went to the house, and they were mourning, and they were mourning, and they were crying. I decree and declare you will not mourn in this end of the year. You will not mourn in this end of the season. In the name of Jesus, no sorrow but celebration. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare that uh, you got to shut out everybody that wants you to mourn. You got to shut out everybody that ridicule you. You got to shut out everybody Everybody that speak negative around you and about you, you got to shut them out. You don't need to hear those negative things. You need to keep declaring the word of God and declaring positive and declaring the blessings of God all around you and your household in the name of Jesus Christ. And he shut them out and took the Peter, James, and John. You need the company of the right hand of your Peter, James, and John. He took them in. Peter, James, and John, the right connection, the right people, with the right attitude, with the right spirit, with the right word, with the right con uh, uh, decree and declaring the right 
Well, then the Ronaldo ones were gonna say, no, no, it is not possible, no, no, that, no, that gossip about everybody else. Because if they come to gossip to you, they're going to gossip about you to everybody else. So you got to believe God for the Peter, James, and John, the ones who are gonna be with you in the transfiguration, the ones who are gonna be with you in the situation of, of where nothing, whatever, they, they got your back and they're praying for you and they're standing with you in hope and they're not gonna mock you, but they're gonna stand to declare and believe believe in your dreams and believe God for your healing with you in the name of Jesus Christ. And he declared and said, verse 41, to the little girl, I took her by the hand and said, Tali Takumi, Tali Takumi, Tali Takumi, Tali Takumi, which means, little girl, I say to you, arise. I say to you, brother, arise. I say to you, sister, arise. I say to you, arise and shine for your glory is come and the glory of God is risen upon you. You got to arise in the name of Jesus. Tali Takumi. There is word of power in the decree of the word of God. And you will arise and you will shine in the name of Jesus Christ and the Bible says uh, the Bible says the little girl she arose and walked for she was 12 years of age and they were overcome with great amazement I decree and declare that the great amazement that will amaze people that will wow people that God's going to do a miracle in your life in this season in the name of Jesus that will amaze the people around you that will amaze them that will wow a great amazement in the name of Jesus Christ Father we give you all the glory we give you all the praise. You are worthy that there is none like you. You are worthy. You got to press past the problem. You got to press past the obstacle. You got to press past the naysayers and the crowd and all that they say cannot be. You got to press past it. Even whatever it is in the natural, you got to press past it and decree for the things that God's going to do for you. He will do great and mighty things abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. This woman has suffered so much sickness, so much physically, so much socially, so much emotionally, so much financially. She had lost everything. Even the religious system was against her. According to Leviticus chapter 15 from verse 19 and 25 and 27, the woman with the issue blood cannot get along in the religious public places and all that. She suffered so much sorrow, but God when she had an encounter with the Lord Jesus, there was a hope for her. There was a chain for her. And she had that determination. She had that declaration. She pronounced the blessings even from within her heart. That now all this physician has taken all my money and they can't help me. But I know that the great physician, he healed the man of gathering. And he's coming right here. And he's going to do the same for me also. And she pressed in. And she received a powerful healing. For that you flow. That you flow. Healing flow in the Lord. Healing is here. Healing is in the name of the Lord. Deliverance is in the name of the Lord. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly much more than what you can think or imagine according to his power in the name of Jesus Christ. And it was a personal faith. Not all the people thronging that they have no faith, but you got a personal faith and believe that God is going to reach out to me. God is going to touch me in the name of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what I see in the physical. I believe and declare what the word of God say. And the word of God never fail in the name of Jesus Christ. And she received a profound miracle. She received a great healing in the name of Jesus. She received a profound, profound miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. I give God all the glory and give him praise. Sir. That those who laugh at you, they said they were laughing at the, the, the Lord Jesus when he said the girl was sleeping. When you begin to share your dreams, sometimes some people begin to laugh at you. When you begin to share the world that God has spoken to you and the visions that God has given you, they begin to laugh at you. Those are not the kind of people that you got to share your dreams with. Those are not the people that you got to need in your circle. You need the Peter, James, and John. He said he pushed them out. And he went with the parent and went with Peter, James, and John into the room. And the girl said, Talita kumi, Talita kumi. And the girl came back, arise, little girl, and she was well, and she 
she got up and said, give us some food. And he said, do not say to, to, to people because the miracles of Jesus Christ are going to speak for themselves. That was a great amazement. He's going to speak for themselves. God is going to do such a great thing that he's going to speak for himself. In the name of Jesus Christ, the woman with the issue of blood, the issue was ended. The 12 years issue was ended. Little girl that was killed at 12 years, she got her life back. And she got to leave for the rest of her life and go and fulfill her dreams uh, and get married and, and have a whole family and that is going to happen that the blessings of God that everything they've laughed at you had everything they ridicule you for God is going to turn it around and he's going to surprise you and Psalm 126 uh, when the Lord turned around the captivity of Zion we were like them the dreamer when God turns around the captivity when God turns around the situation it don't matter what they say God is going to do what he can do and he's going to take all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that every internal bondage every pain, every sickness every challenges, everything that is holding you bound in the name of Jesus we decree and declare a turning point in the name of Jesus Christ that should be a turnaround for you in the name of Jesus Christ and the glory of God is going to touch you I ask that the Lord will help you increase your faith in him encourage you in the name of jesus christ for if it has not been the lord who was on our side he said in psalm 124 but i'm in psalm 126 he said when the lord brought back the captivity of zion we were like those that dream and then was our mouth filled with laughter then our tongue was filled with thinking then it was said among the nations the lord has done great things for them the lord has done great things for us and we are glad is that bring back our captivity O Lord, as the streams in the south, for those who sow in tears that reap in joy, and he will continually go forth weeping, bearing seed for sowing, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him, bringing his sheaves with him. You will bring in your sheaves uh, in the name of Jesus. You will get into your harvest of blessing, harvest of miracles, and all those tears, and all those pain, and all those sweat that you have paid and labor for the Lord it is not in vain God is faithful and he will grant you all that your blessings in the name of Jesus God don't hold nobody God will always whatever you do for him is a seed and you go reap your harvest of miracle harvest of blessing harvest of testimony in the name of Jesus harvest of healing harvest of new jobs and promotion and elevation and exhortation in the name of Jesus Christ had the creation and declare that no more shame, no more pain, no more lack, no more stagnation. Receive health, receive blessing, receive breakthrough, receive open doors. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not be misfired. You will no more be stagnated. But the waters of life will flow into every dead area in your life and empower you. And God is going to cancel everyone that has laughed at you. And God's going to put them to shame with great amazement in the name of jesus father we give you glory and praise we thank you for jesus is the great physician jesus is our healer jesus is our savior jesus is a deliverer jesus he got the power that raised the dead he came alive himself uh, and he got the keys of life and death and then the power of the resurrection that is power in the blood and the power of the resurrection of the lord in the name of jesus father we give you glory we give you praise thank you for your people who have been blessed in this hour and i need you women of god to begin to decree to begin to declare man of god don't shut up don't listen to those that laugh at you because you will laugh last he that Laugh, laugh is the one that laughs over all, over all. The same way that Joseph laughed last over all his brothers. You will laugh, laugh over all that are mocking and ridiculing you. And you will not mourn. You will not sorrow. Don't shut down your ministry. Don't shut down the preaching. Don't shut down the testimony. Don't shut down your faith. Don't shut down declaring the word. Keep picking it. Keep 
declaring it in the face of opposition in the face of challenges because of every opposition that the, the every position that god has for you there must be an opposition but god is able to give you the victory by the power of the holy spirit over every opposition in the name of jesus christ keep pressing pressing don't go through the thronging crowd get in the pressing by faith get in the pressing by faith in the name of jesus press forward decree declare and god is able to do exceedingly abundantly and make all grace abound unto you in the name of jesus thank you lord thank you jesus give him all the praise i don't know what you've been waiting on from january february march and this is november it's not late for god if you keep pressing don't stop just keep pressing and he's going to do it for you and turn around your captivity and the seed that you've sown there will be a great harvest for you and the testimony you're waiting on god is going to do it suddenly in the name of jesus christ and you will be like them that dream in the name of jesus father we thank you we bless you we give you all the praise and the glory blessed be your holy name thank you lord thank you lord thank you jesus thank you mighty god blessed be your holy name in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ of nazareth in the name of jesus we praise you lord we bless you lord we thank you lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you father blessed be the name of the lord hallelujah god bless you everyone god bless you everyone i'll see you again on winning world and prayer hour on wednesday and i'll see you next friday on friday on the holy spirit fire hour I need you to share this on your timeline, share it on your, your, your groups and invite friends and then play over again and pray again and again and you never give up on praying on God and God answers prayer. And I look forward to hearing your testimony and praise report and good news in the name of Jesus Christ. Keep pressing by faith and not uh, get out of the thronging crowd. Don't join the crowd. Get out and, and do something for the Lord and keep declaring the word of God. Ali Takumi, arise, arise, woman, arise, arise in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you glory and praise. Amen, amen, and amen, and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. God bless you, everyone. God bless you. Deborah Mueller, woman of God, God bless you. Thank you for coming. God bless you, everyone. I can't see names on here, but God bless you, everyone. God bless you, everyone. God bless you. Um, I'll see you next time on Winning World and Prayer Howard next Wednesday and Holy Spirit Fire Howard on Friday night. God bless you. This is Abraham Peter saying, I'll see you again. God bless you. Keep rejoicing in the Lord. Keep declaring the word. And there is a healing coming. There is a great restoration coming. There is a great elevation coming. There is a great exaltation coming. There is a great, great deliverance, promotion, and healing and blessings coming your way in the name of jesus christ god bless you all rejoice in the lord never let the devil hold you down thank you woman of god thank you everyone god bless you see you again in jesus mighty name amen and amen